Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? This video is really going to help you out if you are a Shopify store entrepreneur. And I'm going to show you how to prevent fraudulent orders on your Shopify store. And I'm going to teach you first how fraud affects your store, obviously negatively. And we want to prevent fraud before it happens. Fraudulent orders definitely more than just a nuisance and annoyance. Right, they're uh, really kind of affecting a lot of different parts of your business and they have some really high risks connected to them. Obviously, we want to avoid fraud, but we want to do more than just, uh, you know, kind of react to it after it happens. We want to be able to prevent it and set up our store to hopefully never have to deal with it and uh, stop any attempts that might happen. And it's really hard to confidently scale when you have fraud risks. If you're not sure if your sales are legitimate, your customers are legitimate. It's even more important if you have high ticket orders, high priced products. And, you know, really overall, it's going to damage your relationship with your credit card processor, whether that's Shopify payments or PayPal or authorized.net, whatever it is, they don't want to see fraud, right? That's a risk for them as well. So that's a really, really big long-term risk for you. If you have a lot of fraud orders, you might not be able to accept credit card payments on your site and forget about that. At that point, your business is done. You could also see bad reviews, chargebacks, and just an overall loss of revenues from having to refund fraudulent orders. And there's a lot of pain points that you run into when you want to actually deal with this. First of all, the built-in fraud protections with Shopify, they're way too weak. They're not good at all. All they simply do is alert you after fraud happens. We need to find an app that is easy to use, easy to set up, and it must help you prevent fraud, right? That's the biggest thing here. And I'm going to show you Fraud Judge. We'll go over the shoulder. I'll show you exactly why I use it. Really powerful app, but uh, there's a lot of different use cases for it. Obviously, we want to prevent fraud, but what if you have some high ticket items, you want to do some high risk order verification. You could do something like requesting ID documents or verify their age and identity through this app, really powerful, and just simply gives you all of the confidence back to grow your store, grow it without any risk. You could even do things like age restricted products. You could verify their age, things like CBD or alcohol, things like that, address checks as well. And that's why I use Fraud Judge. That's why I recommend it to all my students. That's why they use it. And you see the link directly below this video. It's highly recommended. We're going to go over the shoulder. I'm going to show you exactly how to use Fraud Judge and how it's going to help you prevent fraud. You see the link directly below this video. I'll bring up over here the Shopify App Store listing. And really, this is the best app when it comes to fraud prevention. There's tons and tons of different automated fraud filters. So anti-fraud alerts that are going to stop anything that kind of triggers their alerts. And they have a huge, huge, huge database. The entire company is based on security and managing fraud, understanding which purchases are legitimate and which are not. This is going to happen all automatically with Fraud Judge. You can even do ID requests for high risk order verification, whether you want to request documents or do age verifications. Let's say you're selling some age restricted products. It all integrates directly inside of Shopify. It's going to pull in directly inside of your orders. Again, we're going to go over the shoulder. I'll show you how to set this up. You see an example over here, literally having the customer submit their driver's license, you know, kind of like a know your customer, a KYC request that you might be familiar with getting more and more popular. Now you can add this into your Shopify store. So I invite you to take a look at the link, go ahead and read through all this, but we're gonna go over the shoulder now. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to set this up. All you need to do is press the add app button. This is gonna bring us back into our Shopify store where we're simply gonna grant permission for the Fraud Judge app to connect into Shopify. We press this green install app button. That's really all that we need to do. And we'll immediately be brought onto the onboarding. And it's only gonna take a couple seconds for the app to be set up. You'll then be brought into your fraud judge plan selection. There's a free plan to start. Really just depends on how much or how many orders we're gonna have per month. Once you have your plan selected, you'll be brought onto the onboarding. We're gonna go into the rules section first. And we just have some very, very basic rules in terms of how we wanna get this set up. And what you're looking at are the predefined settings, warning, verify, and deny. And obviously in each one of these cases, there's gonna be a different result based on the order and based on the specific activity of the buyer. In this case, on the warning, we're just gonna choose this option to be notified about a suspicious order or buyer, right? Warning means they're still gonna allow that to go through. Verify over here, this is going to automatically request customer data verification. Perfect for those high ticket items. Here we have under the verify. Deny, this is kind of the uh, the third and I guess the strongest uh, option here. This just straight up denies an order. So if there is a custom fraud alert for ju uh, fraud judge, they're going to deny that um, order right here. Very simple. And you see the three different kind of setups here. 
and all we need to do is press I'm ready. It's going to get us started. Now, there are some uh, initial rules that we can use here to uh, kind of fine tune the way that this works. And I'll show you each of them. You can go and scroll over the little I icon over here. It's going to give you information about, in this case, user agent validation. And we're talking about, okay, do you want to be alerted if there's specific browser activities from the buyer? And again, we have our three different settings here. Warning, verify, or deny. And we're going to go with warning in this case. We have a lot of the different abilities to kind of get a lot more uh, critical and uh, a little bit more kind of strict as we bump up to verify. And we can then go and talk about, okay, I want to verify ID or selfie or utility bill or all three, right? You have full control over that. Could also go to deny, right? Deny is pretty straightforward. It's not going to allow the order to go through. We're going to be coming over here under warning. And really, this is going to depend. Let's say you have a history of high fraud, right? You might want to come to deny or verify on some of these settings over here. For example, billing and shipping uh, country mismatch. Pretty, pretty straightforward there, right? If there is a mismatch over here in the, in the billing and the shipping, going to give a warning. But we have full control. We can say, no, we don't want to have any type of mismatch over here. We're going to require ID verification. Okay, we can continue on choosing our options. Here's a really great one. Product count larger than usual. Are you an apparel store and your, uh, you know, your average quantity per order is one and a half? So maybe you're making orders of one, two, very rarely three and four. Then all of a sudden you get a 10 piece order, right? We might want to come over here and verify. Oh, oops, actually we're up here. Verify, right? Product count larger than 10. More than 10 pieces in the order. This is more than 10 of one individual item. Right? And not only is it fraud here, but this could potentially just be customer error. Right? You put in 10, you meant to put in 1. Or you put in 99, you meant to put in 9. So we have full control. I'm going to put these both to verify, and we'll put these both to ID. Purchase value larger than. Same idea, right? Is your average order value 38 bucks, and your highest order ever was 130 bucks, and now all of a sudden you get a $6,500 order or a... $2,000 order or a $600 order, whatever number you want to put in here, we could then give the deny or the verify or just the warning, right? How about something like this, 6,000, you know, I don't think anyone's coming onto my store to legitimately purchase $6,000 worth of cat t-shirts. I'm going to come and click deny. Order information found on the deny list, right? Did someone get put onto the deny list for a previous transaction? Well, they're not going to come back and play anymore. We're going to deny them totally, or we could set them to verify. I think deny is probably the best choice here. Customer risk is medium. Okay, these are some of the Shopify kind of basic uh, tagging here. We could also use that. They're going to take it a step further with fraud judges data on top of that. And if a buyer is a medium risk, we could have warning. If a buyer is a high risk, we should definitely set to verify. And very, very simple, right? Very, very simple here. We're, I mean, these are very straightforward kind of um, plain English rules here. You don't need to be a tech expert to understand that uh, in this case, if there's a billing mismatch, we're going to make them verify. If they're on our deny list, we're going to deny them further. If they make a purchase with more than, in this case, 10, maybe that's too low. We could put it to 25. If they're making a purchase with more than 25 items, we're going to ask them to verify. All right. So you see how powerful this uh, can become because we have all of these different levels of rules. Coming over here into email template, this is going to be the template that gets sent out for those verifications. So you'll have full control over here. There's some tags like shop is going to automatically pull in your shop name, but basically giving them a, an action needed email. Going to give some specific information. You could just leave this in here blank or you can go ahead and customize this to match the kind of voice of your brand. It's going to automatically put your store and brand name over here. Again, this is the template that goes out for all those verifications that we sent in the rules. You'll see all of your orders start to uh, flow inside here. All orders that need a review will be shown over here. You can uncheck that. It will just show all orders. But these are show only orders that require action, right? You need to verify them or you got a warning or you denied it. Here's going to be that deny list, right? You can also manually add people into the allow or deny list over here by add new. Rules might send them there as well, and that really corresponds to that uh, rule over here. If they're already on the, de the deny list, in our case, we're going to deny them for making any more purchases. Some nice FAQ and support here. Definitely take a look at this, and you could also reach out to their support team at any time. But really, you're going to be playing around mostly inside the rules and inside of the orders as you review these orders as they come through, as they correspond to the different rules that you set up. A fraud judge, incredibly powerful as you see it right here. So that was fraud judge, fraud prevention. You see just how easy it is to get this in your store 
this is a no-brainer. Make sure you prevent all of the fraud. You add in that age verification, order verification, high risk order information, know your customer, all these extra features. But the bottom line is you're going to love the added confidence in knowing that your store is protected from fraud with Fraud Judge. So again, link directly below this video. Highly recommended. If you have any questions, post a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. Otherwise, I hope this helps you save a lot of time, money, and frustration. And I'll talk to you real soon.